Hi friends, I'm back here. Hope all of you are fine, doing well and enjoying my video series. I have given two more videos. I mean, I have shot two more videos before this. These videos are, the links are given here. First and second video. This is the third video in that series and I'm sure that all of you have seen those videos. If you haven't seen those videos, see those videos. Uh, guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you about the real, real factor of developing your fluency. This is the fundamental. This is the most important factor to develop your English. Stay tuned. Have patience. Watch carefully. Keep a pen and notebook. And if you don't understand the video, watch it again. Watch it again. But don't skip this video. And watch this video only if you are free. Right now, if you are busy doing something, eating or something, don't watch. Watch afterwards. But stay focused. Hmm? Come on. I will show you the right path which will take you to the destination of fluency. Let's start. So here we go. Yeah, our basic is very weak. Now, when I say our basic is very weak, why I say this? The reason is this. So here, uh, I, mean, I mean, this is my experience. Uh, I have trained since 20 years. I started at the age of 24 and I'm, I'm now 44. I'm training since 20 years and this is my experience is our basics are very, 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 very poor. Now what I mean by basic is, you look at this, English was considered as just a language and it was given a stepmotherly treatment. I mean, like a stepmother Stop gives it. a treatment to her child. The same thing we did with English. What we did is this, we'll just, just go and attend English, ah, not important, maths home, very important lecture. English lecture is not important. Well, and we thought English is equal to grammar. English is equal to grammar. We studied English only for exams, you know, get those marks, refer the question papers, get some 60, 70 grades and fine English. Is, even I did the same thing. In my school, I did the same thing. But when we finish our graduation, and again, graduation also communication skill is just a subject which no one takes seriously. And when we go in the final year, then we all get up from a slumber, from a deep sleep. And then we go, on. My placement is there. My group discussion is very important. I have to work on my communication interviews and all those things. Then it is very late. And I mean, I will make a video on that. But this is the way or this is the way we have dealt with English and this is the reason why our basics are poor. When I say our basics are poor, what I mean to say is our words are poor. Our words are weak. We have, we do not have knowledge about the words. I'm not saying vocabulary, I'm saying knowledge about the words. And when I say knowledge about the words, I have said that knowledge about the words means what? The meaning of the word. Meaning of the word. Contextual meaning of the word. The pronunciation of the word and the spelling of the word if you are interested in writing. But here in our channel, we don't focus on writing, we focus on communication and psychology. So I'm not talking about that. Two important things are there, meaning and pronunciation of the word. This is very weak. Now the question is how to work on this. Well, uh, do you have any tablet for developing your vocabulary or words? No, we don't have that. Many of us feel that my vocabulary should just grow and keep on enriching. And I'll tell you one thing, dear friends, it's not going to work in this way. If you feel or if you think that communication is like two or three months, you forget this. It's not going to be like this. I know you may have heard some very attractive advertisements, 21 day course, 30 day challenge, seven day challenge is there. Maybe there will be another video with one day new speaking challenge. You can go and watch them. I have no problems, but my channel is not like that. My career is communication and emotional personality and public speaking. It's my career. I have given up my PhDs. Though I'm a PhD, I have given up all those fields. No professor, no HOD, nothing. I have devoted for this field. So I'm very serious about what I'm saying. So guys, whatever I'm going to tell you is very serious. And I want you to stick with this. This is not because I'm not here to give you any shortcuts. I know that if I do all these things, my channel will not go for too long or my institute will not work for too long. Hmm? Words. Now, the only way to work on your words is reading. There is no other way, dear friends. No other way. Trust me, only reading. And as I said just before, according to one survey, it is found that 97 to 98% people do not read any book apart from their academics, apart from their academics in their entire life. In their entire life. Can you imagine this? What you're doing, man, what you're doing. 
This is what we do. And then we complain, ha, oh, hang on, my English sucks. And I don't understand what, what to read. I don't understand what is written over there. I don't understand the podcast. I don't, I want to speak. I don't understand which words to use. This is the reason why, because you are not a good reader, regular reader. On my channel, I will give you some great tips. You know, will enhance to develop your reading habits. But the next point is here, reading and listening is a cycle. Now understand one thing, as I was talking about words, this, this is about, this video series, I hope you understand, is about understanding a podcast and framing proper sentences. Getting it right? So the problem is many of you, as I said, like we don't understand proper uh, good speakers. We don't understand better speakers. Uh, what? Why we don't understand? The reason is, so they speak fast. So they use better vocabulary. So we don't understand the contextual meaning. Now here is the solution. You are reading, okay, you, you got some great words in the format. Okay, the format, well, okay. If you don't know what is the format, I have made a separate video, link is given here. Watch that video very carefully. And I've, I've told about the format. Now, reading and listening is a cycle. What I mean to say is, suppose one word is there. Which word should I take? Mm, okay, the word is condemn. Uh. Condemn, condemn word is there. You should know the meaning of the word. Condemn means to criticize or not to accept it. Pronunciation already you know now. I Just now I have said. Condemn word is there which you found while reading. Now you are listening a podcast. Yeah. And the word appears. Condemn. And the speaker, the podcaster says, well, um, we condemn this act. We don't support this. This is condemnable. Now, you, yeah, that bulb goes on. Condemn. I read this word. I have this word in my vocabulary notebook. This is a cycle. Reading and listening. Is, it, it just goes in cycle. So, building your strong vocabulary, the word knowledge will help you to understand a better podcast. To understand podcast in a better way. Sorry. So this is the way it works. No shortcut. Hello. No shortcut is there. You have to go the right way. Great guys. Hope all of you understand this. And hope all of you will work on this. But before ending this session, I want to say something. That, I mean, I have seen people complaining about expensive books. They say that this book is expensive, 300 huh? and 400 and 500. Well, these are the same people who go and, uh, you know, spend money on parties <laughs> and all that. Expensive gadgets and mobiles and laptops and all that stuff and clothes and, you know, a lot of things out there, I mean, cosmetics. And they complain about books. Is it fair? I don't feel so. A book can change your life. A book can change your life. So next time, don't think about the price. Look at the value of that book. Probably you're going to do that. My best wishes for that. Goodbye. Thank you. Wow.